Aloha, this is Carol Mon Lee on Think Tech Hawaii's series, Leadership in Hawaii. And I want to welcome my first guest on this series for me, William Tanaka. So William is the president of First Hawaii Title, a full service escrow and title company. And Will was also a law student when I was at the law school many years ago. So welcome. Thank William. you. And I have you know you to thank for for allowing me into UH Richardson Law School. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> well, I'm going to call you Will because that's what we always called you. Right? Yeah. So sure, tell us, you've had an interesting path to the front office at, sure. at first uh, title. And uh, you started out as a lawyer, as we right. just said. Yeah. So when did you graduate from law school? When did you graduate from Richardson? Yeah, so I was the class of 2006. Uh huh. Um, great class, uh -huh. you know, amazing friends. And after that, I clerked for Judge Randall Lee for one year. Uh huh. And I had an, uh, that Is was that amazing. Civil I'll, court? Civil, yeah. And um, he was one of my big mentors. Uh, How did he, was, he mentor you? Um, you know, he always emphasized, you know, uh, learning and teaching and uh, just about integrity, always doing the right thing. So he's always, you know, on my right shoulder. <laughs> I see. <laughs> when I have to make a big decision. That's great. Yeah. And then from there? And then from there, um, I had an opportunity to go to uh, Goodstow Anderson Quinn and Stifle. Which is one of the largest firms in the state. Right, right. And what kind of work did so you I do So I did there? Uh, commercial, real estate, and insurance litigation. Aha, uh -huh. so that's where your insurance and real estate right, right. Uh, came up. Did you do any work like that before you went to law school or during law school? Uh, no, I worked for an investment company before law school in San Francisco. Uh huh. So um, this was, you know. Your first? first? Yeah, first gig in the right. law. Yeah. And how long were you at Goodstone? Uh, for five years. Mm-hmm. And then uh, when I was a fifth year associate, um, I had the opportunity to go in-house to be a general counsel of Fidelity National Title. Okay, so now that's a big leap yeah. for people who are interested in law, to right. leave law practice, which right. is the typical, I graduate from law school, yeah. I want to be in a law firm, I want to be a, a right. courtroom lawyer. Yeah. Um, but you jumped to the corporate side. Was that right. a difficult decision? Um, I would say, you know, it took me a couple months to adjust. Um, I would say, you know, the, the biggest difference is always having great mentors, great bosses, great leadership. So I had that with Judge Lee. I had that at Goodsill. I mean, they have an amazing training program. And my three bosses, you know, Carol Eblen, Ed Safri, and Reagan Ewell, just amazing. So it was uh, better sweet to leave the law firm to go into in-house. Um, and it just opened my eyes towards more business aspect of it. I see. So yeah. you said before law school you were doing work in, um, what was it, finance, right? Finance, yeah. So did you have a lot of business background then? Um, some, maybe, maybe for about four years or so. Oh, that's yeah, pretty yeah. considerable. Because yeah, yeah. law school's only three. Right. <laughs> so the balance between business and law, right. and then with some real estate right. uh, legal work, right. you were really poised to go into first, what is Hawaii it? title. Hawaii first, title. Yeah, yeah. I see. And you were, what was your role there? Oh, you mean my At, current position? No, and your, no, sorry. Oh, Fidelity, sorry. Yes, Fidelity, yes. <laughs> so I was a VP and general counsel I of see. Fidelity National Title. Uh -huh. And how big is Fidelity? So it's a, it's a big company. It's a big uh, national company. So and, it was. In their a, local office then, you were here for the Exactly, yeah, for Hawaii. And, you know, for me to have uh, two different presidents to work for. Meaning was, the local president the local and president, the mainland yeah. president. Well, the two local presidents. Um, mm. Uh, you know, one each for two and a half years. And, you know, that gave me, um, you know, great perspective and different way of doing things. So, you know, I'm trying to, uh, I learned a lot from both of them and trying to, you know, infuse my own, um, my culture and my own ideas for First Hawaii Title. Okay. Yeah. So now you were general counsel, so that meant was most of your work then law related? As, it at was, first, yeah, at law related, but at the same time, you know, you have to make a lot of business decisions. So it's not just the legal aspect of it. In uh, title insurance and escrow, you have to make, you know, be willing to, you know, sometimes take the risk, make the difficult decision to see if you can make it work for the client. So you have to kind of balance the legal aspect of it with the insurability and business. Right. And that's where I learned a lot of that. So maybe yeah. now's a good time since yeah. both Fidelity and, and, and your current company sure. have the same kind of business. We sure. explain a little bit about what is yeah. uh, escrow and title insurance. Well, so, yeah, so most people don't really understand title insurance because, uh, you know, you have car insurance, for example, you pay annual premiums and, you know, for, to cover for you, so, some type of damage or loss for an event that happens some, sometime in the future. 
Right. So title insurance is probably one of the most unique types of title insurance because it covers for financial loss for an event that happened in the past. In the past, as opposed so almost, to the future. I yeah. For, so, for example, um, you know, a couple of years ago, there was a big uh, mortgage fraud where, you know, these people, fraudulent people, had um, uh, illegally released mortgages of record. So is this in Hawaii? In, in Hawaii, uh -huh. yeah. What does that so, mean, releasing mortgages of record? Oh, so for example, you know, when you have a mortgage on your, I mean, you know, when you buy a house. You buy a house, you, gotta, you borrow you gotta, money, right. and they, the bank will take a mortgage Right, on. right. Mm -hmm. So usually, you know, it takes, you know, a good 15 to 30 years to pay it off. And in these situations, in, you know, the industry was hit. Um, so what happened was these uh, fraudsters, they, uh, who owned the property, they fraudulently released the mortgages of record. So when there's a buyer and when the escrow company says, hey, it's insured, you know, it's free and clear, then, you know, it, obviously it was fraud. It's a good thing that these people had title insurance to cover them. I so, it, so it's an annual, pre I mean, it's a one-time premium that you pay, unlike car insurance, homeowner's insurance, and it covers you as long as you own, own your home. I see. So, so yeah. you, these insurance, your companies yeah. then are basically insurance companies, but right, protecting exactly. title. Exactly. Yeah. I see. And on the escrow end, you know, you are, we are the, um, the neutral third party. We facilitate, you know, we work with both, you know, the buyer and the seller and their agents, and we, you know, facilitate the closing. I see. So, right. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's an amazing industry. And why do you say that? Is it, uh, do you handle both uh, real estate, uh, residential and commercial yeah, properties? Exactly, yeah. Residential, uh, commercial, mm -hmm. um, you know, refinances, resales, developments. So it's, uh, you know, when I say it's an amazing, it's, you know, there's so, so many myriad of, you know, possibilities and opportunities. I see. Yeah. So um, in terms of your first job then sure. at Fidelity, how were you um, moving toward the business side? I mean, did you feel comfortable that you were kind of ending up going to be heading toward more of the business end of the career rather than back to a yeah. lawyer? Yeah, I think uh, for me, it's, um, I had a, e even though I was a general counsel, I had a more of a hybrid position where, you know, I would do a lot of presentations, meeting with clients. So I, I, I really enjoy getting out there. So did people train you to do that, or is that something you picked up when you um, I, I think um, part of it, I mean, it's always, you know, a team effort. Mm -hmm. So some of it just kind of happened organically. Mm -hmm. You know, someone would say, hey, can you do a presentation on this, this topic? Can you do a presentation on these title topics? And it just kind of morphed into, you know, presentations and meetings and... How about supervising people? Were you in a position at that point to supervise um, people? Not, not directly. Mm -hmm. So when I became the president of First Hawaii Title, it was, um, yeah, it was all new, to be honest with you, yeah. Yeah, well, let's talk about First Hawaii sure. Title. So then you moved over to First Hawaii Title and yeah. became its president. Right. And when was that? So that was uh, June of last year, 2016. Oh, just a year. <laughs> just a year. I just made the one year. Uh-huh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So tell yeah. us about supervision. How big is First uh, So. Title. Yeah, we have uh, 34 employees. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an office. I think we have a picture of um, Will and the office, uh, some of the staff. There we go. There they are. <laughs> yeah. Hello, staff. So we're showing a picture of about, we don't have all 35 right, here, right, but right. there's a um, wonderful picture of the of, uh, employees very happily smiling. Yeah, so we actually have, you know, couple, the owners of our company, uh -huh. uh, my boss, the, the national president, right in the middle, Chris Miller. Mm -hmm. so, um, so first title is a uh, part of a bigger organization. Bigger organization, that's correct, right. yeah. But the Hawaii office has 34 people. 34 people. We have a downtown office at the City Financial Tower. Uh, we're going to be moving into the ground floor space. So mm. it's, um, you know, it's going to be a fantastic ground floor visibility and hopefully uh, we should be moving in by the end of the year. And how big is, how long has First Title been around? Since 1985. Since 1985 yeah. and in comparison to some of the other title companies which many of us have yeah. known, how, how, how I would say I think, we're, I, I think we're uh, in the middle in terms of uh, the length of time we've been doing business in Hawaii. And how do you measure your size? Um, in s size either by market share Mm -hmm. And what's uh, your market share? Uh, so we're about 6.5% uh, now. 
Mm -hmm. So is we're it on the small screen. It's definitely growing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does the small, the size, um, that you consider that a benefit or? Oh, absolutely. And why is that? Yeah. So we have uh, our downtown office. We just opened up Kahalo Mall in December of last year, and you know, for me, I have a huge vision. And what's your vision? Yeah, huge vision. So you know, everything we do, uh, you know, we want to make people better. We want to, you know, internally out. So. We work 40 hours a week together, at least. So if you're not going to work, if you're not having fun, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's going to be, you know, we got to do some hard things sometimes. You know, it's not easy. Sometimes you got to go through the grind, especially during month end. But for the most month part, end. Even, month end and is, year end too, right? And year end, yeah, right. when people mm -hmm. just want to close, you know, right. be, before mm -hmm. the end of the month. Mm -hmm. And if you're not enjoying it, if you're not passionate about it, then, you know, what, what's the point? And, you know, if you're here, wherever this may be, what's this for you in terms of your personal growth, your career development? And th that's what we ask our employees. So how do you then, yeah. uh, what do you do to do yeah. that? To first to understand what their desires yeah. are and how do you get there? So for me, uh, the, the most important thing for me is uh, what I call internal recruiting employee, you know, you could call it employee happiness, employee retention, um, but you have to make sure that you have an awesome culture, that the people are in there are just hungry. And, and, and how do you describe the culture besides being hungry? Um, you got to be ultimate team players. The all team players. So when you all ultimate team players, ultimate, team ultimate, team ultimate team yeah, I say ultimate team players, because, you know, if someone needs help, or if someone's out sick, or you know they have a vacation, then you gotta have you know you gotta make sure you have coverage. So is everybody and, cross trained? Uh, we're getting to that point. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean we've definitely go, you know gone through some growing pain, some growth. Um, definitely not perfect. Have you grown since you uh, first started a year ago? Yeah, so we started off with um, about 23, 24 employees. So yeah. we added about ten employees yeah. over the past year. Yeah, that's pretty good. Fifty percent growth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to grow too fast. Right. So we do want to eventually open more offices. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, we want to make sure that everything internally is working. But of course, so, you have to track the real estate industry on the outside, right? Exactly. So yeah, as yeah. the industry, as the market <coughs> is growing, residential and right. commercial, is that right. the case? We're yeah, yeah. Why is on a growth? It is. Moment. I think it uh -huh. always be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, for me, when I we were you know talking about the vision, right? So in terms of the vision. Down the line, I want to be known as the best customer service company. Not just the best escrow company or, or the best title company. I want to be known as the best, oh, wow, you know, if you use First Hawaii title, consistently excellent. Mm -hmm. And that's where I want to get to. Right. So, it, it, yeah, definitely not easy. You yeah. know, at this point, you know, after a year, I've never been more passionate. At the same time, it's never been more challenging. Right. You know, it's like... And what are some so, of the challenges, briefly, before we go to break? Sure. Um, I, I think some of the challenges is um, the, the cultural shift, you know, during my first year. You know, getting Between people, the old president and you? Um, yeah. And then just um, to, for, for our team members to see my vision for the company and everything I'm doing, it's not for me personally. If it wasn't for our team, then... You know, we wouldn't be here. Right. Okay. So, okay. We're, we're definitely, you know, gradually getting there. Okay. Yeah. Well, great. We're going to go to a short break. Sure. Uh, this is Carol Mon Lee uh, on Leadership in Hawaii with my guest, President William Tanaka from First Hawaii Title. And we'll be right back.
Aloha, my name is Raya Salter, and I am the host of Power Up Hawaii, which you can see live at from 1 to 1.30 every Tuesday at thinktechhawaii.com and then later on YouTube. I am an energy attorney, clean energy advocate, and community outreach specialist. And on Power Up Hawaii, we come together to talk about how can Hawaii walk towards a clean, renewable, and just energy future. To do that, we talk to stakeholders all over the spectrum, from clean energy technology folks to community groups to politicians to regulators to the utility so please join us Tuesdays at 1 o'clock for Power Up Hawaii. Welcome back this is Carol Mon Lee with my guest William Tanaka Will from uh, first the president of First Hawaii Title so welcome back. Thank you. So we were talking about your new role you've been president for a year right. but I want to dig a little bit deeper into your work style sure. so for instance how do you communicate with your staff do you email one-on-one -on -one, like written yeah. memos how do you so communicate? Month one, when I started June of last year, I made sure that the first couple of weeks, I mean, I met with each individual one-on-one. -on -one. I think one-on-one -on -one is so important. And uh, just over the past year, my leadership style has evolved. So I definitely meet with our leadership team, you know, once or twice a month. And how big is your leadership team? Uh, it consists of myself and three other managers. And in terms of... Um, individual meetings. I think, I mean, pretty much like every morning, I'll make my rounds. Feel the temperature of our company, making sure that everything's good. Do you walk to their desk or their offices? And um, you know, it depends. I mean, sometimes I'll just say good morning. Sometimes I just stop by and say, you know, how you're doing. Can you uh, tell the temperature by yeah, your that? Yeah. So, for instance, what have, what's been some of the surprises? I think I would say some of the surprises is, you know, when someone's out, for example. It causes them sick, and that's ex expected sometimes, right? So then that means that someone else have to help cover their desk, at the same time still manning their own transactions. So there's a little stress. A little you bit can stress, feel the right? Stress. Right. So that time, then yeah, hey, you guys want some coffee? You know, some lunch? I mean, just give them some support, give them some love as much as possible. I see. And um, yeah, so I mean, there's always going to be some challenges, and of course, because we have our second branch in Kahala. You know, I'll make sure to visit them at least twice a week. Right. So we'll have uh, monthly meetings, and I don't like to have long meetings. Okay. My meetings, my monthly, my big meetings are almost always ten minutes or less. That's really short. So I tr I try to uh, put a lot a lot of my um, my points in an email. First. And if it's really important, then I'll address it. I see. And usually I'll bring up one, um, you know, teaching moment or motivation or some type of, you know, educational um, matters. So are your meetings in a conference room? Or conference in, room, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And are there offices or do they each have a desk, uh, open, you know, open space versus cubicles? Versus? Yeah, it's a mix. Some people have, you know, inside uh, mm -hmm. closed offices, some mm -hmm. people are in cubicles. And then we just had a breakfast meeting a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. at Square Barrels. So um, what happened, I mean, we just got the entire team and, you know, as from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And for a lot of them, it's really hard to, you know, they have kids, they have, you know, family, they have, you know, come, people, some people take the bus. And, you know, my stuff, for example, so to get, to round up everyone, it's not like, hey, send an email, mandatory, you know, you have to be there. That's not, you know, my style. I just... You know, a couple of weeks ago, or prior to that event, right. I just go up to them and say, hey, you know, um, we, we have a breakfast conference coming up. You know, we have a keynote speaker. It's going to be really exciting. And I know that, you know, you have some kids, and do you mind just making arrangements just for that day? And everyone was all in. Great. Yeah. So okay. sometimes, you know, certain things, if it's really important, I'll address it one by one. So have you had um, style issues yeah. that didn't work? And what, yeah. what can we learn from that, or what can you learn from that? I think, um, y you know, as I mentioned, like my leadership style has evolved. Evolved over the year, right. So it is collaborative. At the same time, you know, sometimes I got to just make decisions. I got to be decisive. So that has evolved, especially in the beginning, because, you know, a lot of the people there, they have the institutional knowledge. Right. So I like to pick their brain. Right. And a lot of the ideas, have come, come from our employees. Sure. A lot of the ideas. Um, you know, whether it's um, uh, our barbecue um, family fun outing at Alamoana Beach Park that's coming up in two weeks. 
um, or the 5K run that right. we're going to be doing. Well, so I, yes. So I find that you know, being trained as a lawyer too, that yeah. I'm often in the mode of gathering data. Mm -hmm. And when do I stop? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And when can I make a decision? Right. I, do you find that an issue? Yeah. So I, I would say, um, you know, when I was an in-house legal counsel. I probably did more of that in the beginning because I didn't really understand the industry, how business work. So now that, you know, just taking everything, um, I've been able to become more decisive. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you don't have to be perfect. Right. Nothing's ever going to be perfect. So sometimes you just got to make a call, uh, make it work. And in the end, everything's fixable. Right. So. so, and we were talking about skills then, and as yeah. far as your technical skills, right. so you have law background, finance background, real estate background. How yeah. about technology in terms of computers and how yeah. effective and how advanced now have right. you been able to uh, upgrade their yeah. technology? So I would say that there's always going to be, you know, especially the, the younger um, staff, they're a lot more savvy. They a lot are. more, I mean, they're just fast. I mean, they, they could just pick it up like that. So. You know, I mean, if they're better than you in certain things, you want them to do it. <laughs> so what yeah. are the, uh, is there any cutting technology that you're adopting now for Swai Title that may yeah. not have been around a year or five years ago? Yeah, so we are, um, I mean, we, you know, we try to promote technology-driven platforms, and we're always looking at new technology. So we're beta testing something new right now to implement in 2018. And what will that do for for clients. Oh, so it, it's going to be um, meaning a lot more efficient, efficiency internally, so we could concentrate a lot more on customer service outward. I see. Yeah. So help the back office. Have, yeah, if you could, you know, really help the back office. Right. And then, Will it cut down on employees, though? No. I think, in, in fact, if you could make it even more efficient, and we could probably just ramp up uh, more employees and open more offices. Mm -hmm. Mm. And yeah. so what's your goal long term, opening offices, how many more? You have Kahala and you have downtown. Downtown, uh, looking on the west side, neighbor islands, uh -huh. over the course of you know next several years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I realized that initially I was going to move much faster. I thought I was going to open more offices by the end of 2017. I think just having two branch offices and you know, I realized, okay, I don't want to grow too fast. We have to get the inner workings. We have to get the efficiency, the, the right people in the right bus on the right seat. So how do so, you train your team? Yeah. How do you, how do you make sure you get sure. the best level of um, service from right, right. them and uh, yeah. education and yeah. experience? So a lot of it is, um, for example, our title, um, our chief uh, title officer. You, you know, it's the leadership team for their specific roles. They know more than me. They do their thing a lot better than me. I mean, that, that's why I want those type of people in those positions. Because if I knew better or I did things better, I probably had the, the wrong people. Mm -hmm. So I know I have the right people mm -hmm. in the departments. Um, so yeah, a lot of times it's just empowering them, giving them leadership. A lot of times, you know, there'll be some brainstorm back and forth. But in the end, most times, yeah, I'll just say, hey, take the reins. Is yeah. that how you mentor too? Do you find that you turn? Uh, you said you received mentorship from right, right. Judge Judge Lee. Yeah. So, how do you turn around and mentor the people? Around I think you? yeah, um, a lot of it is. I would say you know if uh, I, I've talked to some recent grads, and a lot of it is their competence. Graduate from college, or, or college, or, or law school, I see. Uh -huh. or younger associates. I would say most of it is, you know, it's kind of ingrained that you have to, you know, go through a certain path. You have to do it a certain way, whether, you know, through your uncles and aunties or through your parents. And sometimes you just have to take that leap, right. not knowing what's going to be on the other side. Right. Because right. if you think, so that, you know, if you think about it too much, then all the doubts start building up. Right. And pretty much like 99%, it, it's you. It's no one else but you. Yeah. So, well, yeah. we just have a few more minutes, and I want to talk sure. a little bit more about work-life balance. Ooh, okay. So let's see. I know we have a picture of your family because you're not just Will Tanaka. You're <laughs> Will Tanaka with a lovely family with your there wife. There they are. Yes. 
Who so, are we seeing here? We have a picture of five people. Five people. So that's uh, my beautiful wife, Robin. Robin. Hi, Robin. <laughs> Met her years ago. Yeah. And uh, my um, awesome kids. So rambunctious, you know. Yes. Awesome and rambunctious. And the girls are turning seven today. So happy birthday, Avery and Tatum. So that's Tatum in the glasses, Avery with uh -huh. a um, streak in her hair. And Travis is five. Okay, that's great. It's so do you spend a lot of time with your family? Are you able to in this kind of a job? Usually on the weekends. Mm -hmm. I would say that the, you know, the so-called balance hasn't been there. So I really you know, appreciate, especially my wife, Robin, for really you know, being the rock. Right. So you know? that's the kind of the downside of yeah. being the president in a, in a leadership position yeah. where your time is kind of yeah, in between. And how about friends? Yeah. I know that in law school you had... Uh, <laughs> Some very close friends. So let's see. I think we have one picture of some. <laughs> oh yeah. Buddies. So yeah, those are my uh, best friends. For, best friends from law school, Jeff Lau and Rich Ting. Hey, so. Jeff and Rich, <laughs> my old buddies too. There they are. Nice to see them. And so you have you try to make time for your community. Your do you have community activities beyond what you do with your um, first Hawaii title? Yeah, we just did a uh, beach cleanup recently. Oh, that's great. Um, you know, try to raise funds, 5K runs. And what happens to the money for the 5K? Uh, it, it goes to a charity. I see. Yeah. And how do you designate charities? Do you um, so, so, yeah, that's an evolving process, too, because, you know, there's so many people who want to donate to their own charity of choice. So, so it's part of the team kind of uh, exactly, agreeing yeah. and processing how that works. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, Will, that time went by really fast, right? It did. <laughs> we, have, we have only one more minute left, sure. and I'm going to give you the opportunity to make some closing remarks and look into camera. Closing four. remarks, okay. Yeah. Um, so I think this is for anyone, you know, who's kind of just, you know, just going through their career path right now. For me, my biggest fear in life is never reaching my ultimate potential, whatever that may be. I have no idea what that's going to be. And back in college, uh, you know, my motto was, Risk it and no regret. Risk and no regret. Risk it and no regret. Re risk it and yeah. no regret. So sometimes, you know, there's going to be times, whether it's personal, work, or just, you know, I mean, any other aspects of life. And sometimes when you're just weighing a decision, I mean, you just, just, just go for it. Go for it. Just go for it. Okay. And, you know, without th too, thinking too much about the repercussions or what, what may happen, what may not, if you think about it too much, so, you know, I have a band right here that says, I can, I will. So doubts starting to go in your mind. You just say, I can, I will. Great. So, and then you yeah. too can reach the front office. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Will. Thank you, Carol. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so this has been Think Tech Hawaii. Carol Monleaf with uh, my guest, William Tanaka, president of First Hawaii Title uh, on Think Tech Hawaii. And thank you to our floor manager. Robert McLean and our production engineer, Ray Sangalong. And we'll see you next time. Aloha.